This video gives a broad overview of how to use PubMed, the world's largest biomedical database. It's maintained by the National Library of Medicine and contains more than 36 million citations. Many of these citations have links to full text. By the end of this video, you will be able to demonstrate how to conduct a basic search in PubMed and utilize search filters to refine your search results. As always, we recommend that you access this database from the library's website. This will give you access to Marquette's journal subscriptions in addition to any research that's freely available online. Let's start with a basic search. I'm going to type exercise into this search box on the home page, then click the search button. As you can see on the results page, this search is way too broad and we have more results that we could possibly use. Let's try to narrow this by using the Boolean operator AND to add more keywords. Now we're going to search for exercise and low back pain. As you can see, that significantly narrowed the results, but we still have too many. Next, we'll use filters to narrow our results even more. On the left side of the screen, you'll see the various filter options we can use. Let's start by limiting the publication date. Some of the articles in our search are several decades old. These can be useful if we're doing background research on a topic or seeing how a treatment has evolved over time. But in order to properly apply evidence-based practice, we want to be sure we're using the most current evidence available. We can use the date slider to change the time frame we're looking at. One nice thing about this method is that you can hover your cursor over any of these lines and see how many of your search results were published that year. You could also scroll a little further down the page to the publication date section. Let's choose 10 years for the publication date. Now we're looking at a list of all the results that have our search terms and were published in the last 10 years. We may eventually want to limit this to even more current research, but starting with this range is a good way to learn more about the topic and find additional search terms we can use. In PubMed's basic search, we can limit by article type to find EBP research. Some of the most common article types are listed here. For example, meta-analyses, randomized controlled trials, and systematic reviews are all study types that will provide a high level of evidence. If we scroll down a little further and click the Additional Filters button, we'll see a lot more options to limit our search. Guidelines are another article type that may be helpful. A guideline typically gives recommendations on how to diagnose and treat a specific medical condition, so we might want to include that in our search. We can scroll down to Guideline, check the box, and then hit the Show button. This doesn't automatically apply it to our search results, but now we can see it in the article types list. From here, we check the box, and now this article type is one of our search limiters. If you've applied too many filters, your results might be too limited and you won't find the research you need. If that happens, you can just uncheck some of the filters and run the search again. You can always scroll down to the Reset All Filters button to start over. Once you find an article that looks particularly relevant to your topic, there are several ways you can utilize it to find additional relevant research. Let's take a look at this article. We can click on the title of the article in our results list to see more information. At the top of the record, you'll see what type of article this is. This is a systematic review with network meta-analysis, so this will provide a high level of evidence. We can take a look at the abstract to determine if this article sounds relevant to our topic. Over on the right side, we'll see some buttons that give us our options for finding the full text of this article. If we scroll down a bit, we'll see the keywords that the authors assigned to their article. These are the terms that the experts in the field used to describe their work. These may be useful synonyms for the keywords you are already using or additional terms you may not have tried yet. As we continue down the page, we'll see the Similar Articles section. PubMed automatically identifies other research that's likely relevant to this topic. 
This isn't a comprehensive listing of all relevant research, but it can be a good way to find a few more useful articles or search terms. Next, we have the Cited By section. These are other research articles that cited the article we're currently looking at. These can be useful for finding more current research on our topic. The last thing I want to point out about PubMed is the MeSH Terms section. MeSH stands for Medical Subject Headings. MeSH is an example of a controlled vocabulary. That means that these are specific, standardized terms used consistently throughout the PubMed database. They are assigned by subject experts in the National Library of Medicine to make articles on a particular topic easier to find. These are another valuable tool you can use to refine your searches. We've covered a lot of information in this video. If you have any questions, please ask. You can chat with a librarian 24-7, email us, or schedule an appointment to meet with a librarian in person or virtually to help with your research needs. Until next time, happy searching!